Hi everyone, my name is James Braithwaite, of course, here at Braithwaite Physiotherapy in Toronto. We're going to talk today in the first of two videos around tendinopathy. And tendinopathy, of course, is that state of tendon disrepair where your tendons are painful, they might be thickened, um, and they definitely give you problems when you're moving around, but the body's not doing a great job of actively trying to heal them through the inflammatory process. So this is actually probably the majority of tendon problems that I see coming through the door. You generally speaking, I'm gonna break that tendinopathy down into one of two phases. Early phase, which is called reactive tendinopathy, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, which is the pain's been around for less than six weeks anyway. And then late stage or degenerative tendinopathy is where the pain's been around for more than six weeks, a lot of folks that come into the office are actually in that category even because people tend to stick around with these pains for a long time before they get them addressed. Don't let that be you. Not to worry though, if it is you, you've had the pain for a long time, there's still ways to deal with it and you can certainly talk with me about that. But in today's video, once again, we'll be talking about that early stage reactive tendinopathy. A bunch of stuff that you can do for it, what's called isometric exercise, which really helps you to manage the pain, we're gonna do a demonstration of that. You also wanna be discontinuing any aggravating actions that you're doing. So if you're running and that's causing the pain, if you're playing a lot of volleyball and that's causing the pain, if you can discontinue for a period of time, it is important to try and shield the tendon from that aggravating activity. You can um, clean up your actions, um, clean up your mechanics of your actions with the help of your physiotherapist. So just looking at the form of the way that you're doing your activity, that's important. Um, using a hot pack to get some local circulation is important, 20 minutes at a time, at least once a day. Uh, and then of course, there is this isometric exercise. Um, so I'm gonna use the example of an Achilles tendinopathy because that's a really common one. Uh, incidentally, that's also the type of tendinopathy that I had before I ruptured my Achilles tendon here on the right side. If you're wondering where, why it is that I'm wearing this beautiful boot, that's exactly the reason why I had a tendinopathy that I didn't deal with quite effectively enough and I definitely dis didn't discontinue my activities quickly enough, ended up with a ruptured tendon. Not a big deal, everything's gonna be all right. With the Achilles tendinopathy, um, you're gonna do this isometric exercise. We've discussed these before in other videos. That's where you're um, producing a muscle contraction without actually moving the limb. So a great example would be pushing into a wall. So right now, as I push into the door here, I'm doing an isometric contraction. I'm contracting my pec to try and push into the wall, but obviously my arm isn't moving because the wall is stopping me from moving any further. At the Achilles tendon, the isometric contraction is like a gas pedal where you don't actually get to push the gas pedal. So I'm gonna line myself up um, uh, against a wall, like so. I'm, you could use a door jam, that's really great. You can say I can sort of step through a little bit here to create a little bit of leverage for myself. I'm gonna raise my rear heel with my leg extended out behind me, and I'm just gonna push into the floor, and I'm gonna push with some strength. So I'm thinking 80% of about the maximum that I can push, so pretty strong. And you want to be able to hold this for 45 seconds. So, you know, if you need to get your, um, your stopwatch on your phone, get that out. And just time yourself where you can just count in your head. You know, one, two, skip a few, 45 seconds. And then you're going to relax. And you're going to do five sets of that, right? So five 45 second contractions. You should immediately feel a reduction in pain symptoms around this. It's a great way to manage pain. There's good science behind this as an exercise to help you manage your Achilles pain. So once again, I'm gonna get my leg out behind me, gas pedal my foot into the ground, it's as if I'm trying to push that gas pedal, but of course, the ground is stopping my, my ankle from actually moving, right? So once again, 45 seconds, and that would be number two of five. The other thing that you could do, let's say that you don't really, you're not in a place where you can line yourself up against a wall, maybe yourself, maybe you're in the office, and you're a little nervous about you know, displaying yourself by getting up and, uh, and, and pushing into a wall like that. You can also do it at your office chair. So let's pretend this is my office chair. I can just get my foot underneath my chair like so, and I can just sort of hang onto the side of my chair and push into the ground, right? It's like I'm gas pedaling into the ground just like so. Once again, 45 seconds, I'm making it a good, strong contraction. Not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but you know, persist and persistence leads to success. 
So, 5 times 45 seconds on that isometric contraction, okay? Now, every different type of tendinopathy would, ha would require a different type of contraction. So, if you've got a tennis elbow, which can also be a ten tendinopathy, that would require a different type of, um, of isometric contraction. A patellar tendinopathy, jumper's knee, also that's a tendinopathy. And that would require a different type of, uh, of contraction. You can certainly talk to your physiotherapist about the best way to address that for you. So if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Try that isometric contraction. Don't forget to heat um, the, the tendon 20 minutes at a time and discontinue those aggravating activities as well. So until next time, I'm James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy. We'll pick up on this in a second video to talk about how to deal with later stage tendinopathy.